Yo, listeners, welcome to Tetsuo Tells a Story. I'm Tetsuo. This is the first episode of the UFO series. I've always wondered why Hmong folks don't have many UFO stories. So if you do have one, a UFO story, please send it my way. Just a reminder, I do plan on doing some type of giveaway once I reach 1k sub and the 4k hours on YouTube. So please like and share my channel with friends and family. Until then, let us begin. <laughs> Story 1. Cornfields I can't say for sure what happened to me that night, but here is what I know. I was driving home for the weekend from school at Indiana University. It takes me about two hours to get home, and I left Bloomington around 10 p.m. At exactly 10.53, I am on a rural stretch of the two-lane highway I take home, and I notice what appears to be flashing lights right behind me. I thought, Great, I'm getting pulled over. So I turn onto the next country road, about a quarter mile from where I noticed the lights. As the car came to a stop, I started to open my glove box to get out my registration and proof of insurance. The lights suddenly disappeared, and no car drove past. Now, here is where the story takes a turn for the weird, and I'm sure you guys will think I'm making it all up, because it really does seem like it's straight out from a typical UFO movie or story. The electronics in my car started to go haywire. The radio was randomly changing stations while the volume kept going up and down. The dome lights and headlights started to flicker and turn off and on. This was around 10.56 p.m. I started to think to myself that my battery must be failing or else I have a short somewhere in my electric system of my car. So I leaned down to pop the hood so I can take a look at the battery. And that is the last thing I remember doing. The next thing I know, I open my eyes and see nothing but the night sky full of bright stars. It was a cold night and it seems like I had never seen stars that bright in my life. I sat up and looked around and I saw absolutely nothing. I was in the middle of a field surrounded by corn stalks left over from the recent harvest. As I started to come to my senses, I started to freak out. Where am I? Why the fuck am I asleep in the middle of a field? And where the hell is my car? I got up and started walking towards the distant headlights I could see about half a mile away. When I got to the nearest intersection, I looked at the signs which read 350 North and 50 West. I was half a mile away from my car which was right off the main road. I started walking towards the headlights from which I could see on the main road. I can't say how long it took me to walk the half mile but it couldn't have been more than 10 or 15 minutes. When I arrived my car's lights were all out. My battery had died, which struck me as odd because I couldn't have been there for that long. I looked at my phone, which was sitting on the passenger side, and the time read 2.17 a.m. Over three hours had passed since I turned off onto the side road for the flashing lights right behind me. I remember sitting in my car, just completely dumbfounded wondering what the hell just happened to me. After about half an hour of just sitting there, I remembered that my battery was dead. So I got on the phone 
and call AAA to come out and give me a jump. It took about an hour for them to get out to me since I was a good distance away from the nearest town. During which time I sat in silence, going through the possible scenarios in my head concerning what had just happened. To this day, I couldn't tell you what really happened to me that night. All I know is that I can't think of any plausible explanation as to why I woke up half a mile away from my car in the middle of a cornfield more than three hours after I had stopped. I've only shared this story with one other person, my uncle. I'm sure people would either look at me like I'm crazy or they would call bullshit on the whole story. And I can't blame them. If someone came up to me with a story like that, that so closely mirrors the typical encounter story, I probably won't believe them either. Story 2, titled, UFO Islands My father used to live on the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean, so him and his friends would routinely go fishing in the ocean very early in the morning. As you can imagine, being in the middle of the ocean on a giant boat gave him and his friends an amazing view of the stars with almost no light pollution. One night, they were out fishing past midnight and what looked like three different color lights appearing in the sky above the boat. At first, they appeared to be planets or some other type of light coming from space. However, these lights got larger. They appeared to be moving under their own influence each one moving separately and of its own accord. My dad and his friends were freaked out, but too scared to move or turn on the engine of the boat. Suddenly, they began rotating together in a tight loop. Their speeds increased and the lights descended on my dad and his friends in the boat. At that point, all of them were sufficiently freaked out. That's when they decide to book it. They turn on the engine and roared away. For a while, it looked like the craft was floating right above them, following them. My dad was absolutely terrified. Everyone was screaming at this point. The craft was keeping up with the boat at top speed which was probably going about 30 miles per hour. The craft then flew away at impossible speed horizontally, streaking out of sight. My dad is not a believer in the paranormal and is actually quite religious. So when he told me this, I could not believe it. To this day, him and his three friends insist this is what they saw. Thanks everyone for listening in on these two UFO stories. If you enjoy these stories, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Tetsuo Tells His Story. Do you have a UFO story to tell? Let me know and I can read it to the world. See you in the next episode. Thanks.